Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. And you'll notice a few things about the personalities in this poster. I want you to take note that out of all these 10 personalities, surprisingly enough, not a single one of them is from where? I want to see, I want to see if we're thinking the same thing. 10 people. And surprisingly enough, not a single one of them is from where? No, not black people, not North America, not black people. Not a single one of them is from Yakin Institute. A surprise! Yakin Institute got blasted from both these sides. The majority of the people in this poster, not all, but the majority of them, has something to say about Sheikh Omar Suleiman and Yakin Institute in some way, and yet not one person in this meme, whoever put the work in together, was thinking, you know what, maybe I should put somebody from Yakin Institute in here. They didn't think of that. And now don't go and say I'm here trying to give a tesquia to Yakin, but if I'm being real, Yakin actually has scholarship. And these guys don't. Which brings me to my second point, and that is not a single one of these 10 individuals is a scholar. Not one. Is Sheikh Tahir Wyatt here? Is Mufti Munir here? Is Sheikh Umar Suleiman here? Not a single scholar. Now, it's not a knock against them. It's not a knock against them for not being scholars, right? Because I'm not a scholar either. But we're just stating the facts here. The fact is, not one of these people is a scholar. And with this fact that not one of them is a scholar, brings me into my third point, which is that even though not a single one of them is a scholar, and we're not going to knock them for being not scholars, all of them have a presence on social media. All of them. All of them have a major presence on social media. They influence Muslims. They have become thought leaders for thousands and thousands and thousands of Muslims. Hundreds of thousands, not just hundreds of thousands, possibly millions. And that's not a stretch in any way, shape, or form. Look at some of their channels. Look at, uh, uh, what you call it? Muhammad Hijab's channel. Look at, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Ali Dawa's channel. The amount of people he has on their, ch on their channels and stuff. Exactly. Huge influence. Huge influence. They can send messages that can reach. Look at look at if you look at Mohammed Jab's interview, for example, with Andrew Tate. Go look at the views on that video. The last time I checked, it was over a million. I'm pretty sure it's more than that now. So don't tell me they can't reach millions of Muslims. Y'all hearing me? Sajid has over. The last time I checked, he has over a hundred thousand subscribers on his on his channel. That's one video. Voice, Voice of Islam JA is saying he's got two million views on that one video now. So here we have a bunch of people on this meme, a viral meme, okay, in which none of them are scholars, okay, all of them are influencers. They can easily influence, in my opinion, hundreds of thousands and possibly millions, millions. And now, out of all these 10 personalities, okay? Where my day one's at? Where my day one's at? Out of all these 10 personalities from this meme, six out of the 10 of these Muslim personalities have expressed overtly or covertly or both anti-black sentiments. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. 